waist deep in blood with a box cutter by my side. Welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll Cooking with Sal B. Today we have a very special guest, our first touring band, Cancer Slug. They'll be performing live in our kitchen right after they eat our famous chicken parm. Everybody loves it. Kind of a Sicilian tilt. And here we go. These are breasts. I'm going to make them into cutlets. You can buy them already cutlet style. I'm just going to make two cutlets out of one breast. We're going to wash our hands because we are dealing with chicken. We're going to get our oil very hot because we have to bread and fry our cutlets before we put them in the oven with the cheese. Let me introduce the band real quick. This is the lovely and talented Cassie on bass with Brute. We have Alex Story, the lead vocalist, also the lead vocalist of Gorgeous Frankenstein. We have Kyle on guitar. And we have our main man, Mike, on drums. This is Cancer Slug, guys. And what we're going to do, it's, it's pretty simple. We just have a, an egg, and we're going to beat up our egg a little bit. Okay, and now we're going to introduce Sal's very special seasoning bath. You can buy seasoned breadcrumbs in the store, but I like to do it myself. It's uh, breadcrumbs from the bakery, uh, garlic powder, onion, onion powder, salt, pepper, oregano, a lot of parsley, and of course, Pecorino Romano cheese. So this is how it's done. Very simple, just put it in there like that. You wanna drain off the excess egg, and right into the seasoning bath. We're gonna completely cover it, both sides. Very important to get complete coverage, and right into the frying pan we got. I've washed my fingers off, in between every cutlet because the batter and the mixture will kind of mess things up. Alex, Cancer Slug is a very interesting name. Can you can you tell us how we got to, to be Cancer Slug? <laughs> uh, I, had old, old, uh, I had this old Chevy Nova and it like leaked every fluid on earth and like fucking had like a trail of purple smoke for like six blocks when it dry out and everything. So we always called it Cancer Slug, leaving a trail of disease behind it everywhere it went. And then, uh, like, when I started up the band, it was just like, I figured that fucking nobody using that name, I bet. So, that's it. That's a great fucking name, man. You can't, <laughs> you can't argue with that. Kyle, what's it like to play guitar on tour? Oh, man, it's awesome. It's a fun experience. So it's, it's like when you're in the battle. It fucking drives me, the crowd drives me, I drive them. Were you in any other bands before Cancer Slug? Uh, I messed around with a couple of bands, um, kind of locally. Where me and Alex are from, and I met up with Alex. And where, where exactly are you guys from? From around Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama. That's the deep south. Technically, they're Decatur, Alabama. Decatur. Yeah, it's like the next city over. And Mike's from Huntsville. We used to run around together, yeah, like yeah, technically, see yeah. each other at shows and stuff growing up, fucking scoring and shit. So. Mike, <laughs> wait. How old were you when you picked up the drums? Seventeen. It's a good age. Yeah. Were you any in other significant bands besides Cancer uh, Slug? I've been in, in bands on and off over the years since I was 15. This golden brown look translates into flavor, and that's what we're looking for. We're going to have plenty of flavor with this because we're using all good ingredients. We just got to let it cook now for a minute. It's got to brown all the way on both sides. We're not going to fully cook the chicken. This is just a browning process to, to make it nice and crispy for when we add our sauce and our cheese and we stick it in the oven. Alex, <laughs> Alex, well, this is a, a driving question everybody wants to know. What's happening with the Gorgeous Frankenstein record? Uh, well, we've been working on it for like a while now. I mean, like uh, Doyle and Chud, they, they spent like a year building this uh, studio, kind of makeshift studio. They've been working on the record everything. And I uh, mean, they've just been going back and forth with like working on it. It's like we got about two albums worth of material recorded now, and uh, we may even put out as another album, like uh, this Halloween, hopefully. And as you can see, the chicken is getting nice and brown on both sides. You can give it another flip if you'd like. We're pretty much there with the browning process of it. We're going to drain it on some paper towel to get rid of that excess 
oil that we really don't need. I've heard through the grapevine that you have 300 songs written. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that's true or not, but tell me how Kansas Slug it's writes a song. Ball part. Uh, I go outside and it's inevitable that something pisses me the fuck off and like, or I interact with a human being. And then I go home and I pick up a guitar and I just start fucking hitting it and whatever the fuck comes out, that's a Cancer Slug song. Mm. And so like, then like I go up to these numb nuts and I'm like, hey, I got a new song, learn this. And then we do it. Cassie, how does it feel to be the only female in a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on tour, in the van? It's interesting. Is uh, having the dog with you a burden, or or it's a con it's a comfort, right? Yeah, he's our uh, you know our fifth member. He's really sweet and he's low maintenance. And do you have a cancer slug tattoo? I do. Uh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Cancer slug right there. The chicken is draining. We're gonna get ready for our next step. So we're gonna take some of our very special homemade sauce and just coat the bottom of the pan a little bit with that. And what we're gonna do is you're just gonna lay our chicken breast right in there. One, two, any way you want. Have a little fun with it, and there you go. Next step in this recipe is gonna be the cheese. I'm gonna use two kinds. We can use a sliced provolone, and we are not gonna be bashful on the cheese. And we got sliced mozzarella. In Sicily, which is a little bit separate than mainland Italy, they have many, many different dialects and styles of cooking, and cheese is so important in Italian cooking. All right, guys, I understand that you create your own merchandise. You want to tell me a little bit how that works? Yeah, it's like we got screens. We, 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 me and Cassie made the screens this time for uh, the, the two different shirts design we have for this tour. And uh, we just old school silk screens. We carry them with us on the road. We'll stop anywhere like uh, Walgreens, Dollar General, stuff trying to find cheap deals on bundles of shirts. And then we just like off days screen the shit out of them. We got a button press. We make buttons. Like fucking, we, we do it all ourselves. Like, Pull into a hotel room and stuff and send them. Yeah, you know, just go to work. And that's it. Very cool. Yeah, keep keep shirts on the floor. Keep the cost low. This way you can make some money. It's an old Glenn Danzig trick. We. We're, we're the most DIY band, I think, still going. on. We still do it the old school way. I mean, it's like I grew up on, like, you know, late 70s, early 80s, punk rock and shit, and they were just, you know, make it happen. That's, that's how I've always fucking done it. It's like, it's like we just get out there and get in the van. Fucking, usually we're buying a van right before we leave, fucking, and, like, we don't even know if we're going to make all the dates, but that's always just the goal is to make the fucking dates. we got to make the fucking dates. I mean, we've left so many bands on the side of the road and so much. I mean, we just get out there and fucking do it. I mean, if people want to see it, they come see it. If not, you know, and uh, I would imagine that the gas prices, uh, yeah. it's the worst thing, you know, every, there'd be a lot more touring rock and roll if gas wasn't $4 a damn gallon. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it shouldn't cost $100 to fill up your tank. Yeah. There's something wrong with that. Uh, $50 maybe, but not 100 Come on. It's like with Cancer like I'm always giving away all our music for free just because it's like, that's just the way I always, you know, like I, I grew up on old days, like tape trading days and shit like that. Speaking of merch, we're going to introduce the fifth member of the band right now, the merch girl, Christine. Come on, come on, sweetheart. She's the merch girl for Cancer Slug. She's on tour. She's going to be in my cooking show. She's going to have some awesome food. She's going to have some chicken porn. Now we're going to just go with a little bit of sauce on top, and we're going to cover this. And it's going to cook covered for about a half hour. Cover it nice and tight, and it goes into the preheated oven at 350, like I said, for about a half an hour. With the chicken parm, it's gonna be about a half hour covered, about 20 minutes off. When you take the tin foil off, put it back in for about 15 minutes. Timing is very important, because you got the cheese, you can't let that cheese burn. For the last five minutes to get it nice and crispy on top, I'll turn the broiler on, but you gotta stay right on top of it because it can't burn. Cancer Slug has this brand new CD out, wonderfully titled Pussy Talk. And we're gonna talk a little pussy right now. <laughs> Alex, what made you write that CD? Uh, Cause we were heading out on tour and we needed a new 
new album to sell on the fucking tour. <laughs> so that's it's written and recorded specifically for this tour. Uh, Alex, one thing I found out, and your lyrics are very explicit. It might be considered rude to some people, but it works so good. And and uh, you should be very proud of your writing ability because uh, it's all written Here's right some here. Lyrics right there. And it, 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 when you hear bands, you listen to the song, you listen to the music. If you listen to this band's lyrics, it'll just blow your mind. I'll just read you a quote from the first line of their song. And we drink and we fuck and we like to fight. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right now we got about 14 pressed albums out for sale. Wow. You can get them all through our Reverb Nation page, ReverbNation.com slash Cancer Slug. That's awesome. They got them all at a reasonable price if you want hard copies. You also got them all for free download. You can just download the shit and listen to it. And, uh, you know, don't be a jerk. Buy one or two. I don't know. Cancer Slug has been very interactive with their fans on this tour. Tell me how the fans like helped book shows for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's like we, it's like we, we got the slug called out there working like uh, uh, sort of think Project Mayhem Fight Club. This is this is our slug cult. And like these are like not just like the fan fans. These are like the fucking fan the hardcore, fans. You know, these are like the fucking nutty bastards. And like, and these are the ones we like. And we just let them set up our everything. And then fucking, uh, it's like we don't ask for guarantees or no bullshit. We don't try to pretend we're like some big fucking rock star bullshit. We just fucking show up. You book it, we'll show, you know. And fucking, we do the damn thing. We're actually filming this whole tour. We call it the Slug Cult Rising Tour. And uh, and we're, we're fucking filming everything for a, for a tour DVD that we're going to put out after we get back home. And uh, you'll get to see all the fucking bullshit. Well, you can see the, the stuff we want to see. Through the magic of television, we have it nice and crispy and toasty. Okay, a little bit of better for presentation. We go like that. And we got some pasta. This is kind of what we're looking for. A nice chicken parm with a pasta. And it's also going to be served with a slice of bread. In this case, we have big slices of bread. Okay, I'm just going to put this in there. The most key ingredient, even though it is chicken parm, Pecorino Romano cheese. It's so good. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's excellent. Awesome. And there's, there's tons more. Yeah, let me hit that bread. <laughs> <laughs> there's tons oh, yeah. more, bro. Tons more. Thanks, Sal. Came out great, man. Good. Passing through Jersey, stop by Sal B's. Get on the show. <laughs> okay, right after dinner, Cancer Slug's gonna perform live right here in our kitchen. They're gonna play an acoustic song, and these guys are gonna love it. Okay. This is a song about my first love. <laughs> I found you lying on the floor in a puddle of piss and shit and blood. There were cum stains on your face. I wondered if you had died or perhaps were still alive. Then a sound came so sweet it almost brought me to my knees. You started crying. Ooh, 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 ooh,